one thing I did not clarify this week is how should we do the tier list? Should it be based I think we on should just do like standard class. Uh, I mean, agreed. We start going into like subclasses. Like... We'd be here all night. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, we're not I, definitely not doing subclasses. And I wouldn't be able to comment on all the subclasses. Oh, absolutely. Either. I would have to figure it out as we're ranking them and be like, oh, I don't know. I guess be. You know how many like cleric <laughs> domains there are? Like we'd be here forever. Oh, uh, Let's just short off. Should we do it on easy. just based on how cool? I think. I think cool. I, and I think how good they are. Fun. I guess. Yeah, I think a little bit of both. How yeah. cool and fun you're enjoyable. Yeah. Well, how how like, I Useful. guess cool and fun would be the same, but like, how cool and fun they are, and then how good the class is. Okay, that's like, fair. How, how strong the class is. That's fair. Uh, there's also I'm just gonna flip to this real quick. There's also an alignment chart we could have set up, where we could do like add text in each quarter, um, oh, I see. and then kind of rank it based off like like the top north would be like cool to the the right would be like op, uh, the bottom would be, you know, I don't know, but you could make up your own way and then you could kind of slap these in areas based off right. like what you feel. Um, I think we should just go with the tier list for now. It'll be significantly easier for now. Yeah. Uh, okay, first off, we have Barbarian. I I don't know if I'm going to put any of them in F tier. Well, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say we should start off nice and easy and just throw Ranger in F tier. Whoa! <laughs> Ranger is fucking garbage. I it's mean, not. it's hard to it's argue. Trash, I mean, it's trash, dude. It's so bad in every I'm... single way. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, Ranger, um, the fact that, like, Ranger is not the best archer character that you can make, and the reason for that is because they get spells. Well, the spells that they get aren't strong. And just the fact that a Ranger can be beat by a fighter with a bow is just insane. You I mean... Can, you know what I mean? Our party in uh, our friend Dylan's campaign just hit 13th level. Uh, and our friend Justin, he is a full-on ranger. And he's thinking about retiring his character because he's like, it's just kind of boring, you know? Do you all have... no, I think he got 5th level spells or maybe it's 4th level at this level. But he's like, it's just nothing cool. You all have hurt me deeply. Listen... How you feel about rangers, Skillin? Play with a fighter with a bow. You want to know what I think about rangers here? Yeah. That's what I think. There's no way you think rangers S tier. I don't think it's S tier. But I don't think it's terrible. And the So this is... Because I have this argument all the time on Instagram. Ranger is really good when its circumstances line up correctly. Because of, like... You have to pick your favorite terrain... And then your favorite enemy, which they've kind of like done away with those things. Mm -hmm. Back then when the game first came out, that was terrible. Because like, let's say Verzana, for instance, I was like, Forest and Beast are her, her favorite things. Well, it was like, you know, we would go up against a Beast, but it was like every once in a while, not all the time. So it was only every, every, every few circumstances that I would get that benefit. And then once we were out of the high forest... Uh, we went underground. Oh, well, you know what? Zana wasn't there for the High Forest. Or, or she was there for the High Forest. She wasn't there for after the High Forest. Yeah. Um, but, like, you know, going to the city, we, uh, she didn't fight. Uh, so, like, it was like once she was in her preferred environment, she felt better. Mm -hmm. But even then, like, it needed, you could tell it needed work. So I would honestly give Ranger more of a B tier. I, I honestly would put Ranger in C. And the only reason I would put Ranger in C is because I've played classes that are, uh, I guess you could say situationally good. Mm -hmm. They're like situationally strong, mm -hmm. I guess you could say, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Jizargo. Um, mm -hmm. And when you're not in that situation, you can really get punished for it. Yeah. Um, and you could also say honestly that Wolf is kind of situationally strong. Not that he he isn't a like I'm not saying he's a pushover if he can't get sneak attack off, but yeah. if he can't get sneak attack off, he's not at his full strength. Yeah. Uh, but there are classes in the game that are always strong. Very true. You know Such what I mean? Paladin. Right. So like that's the only reason I think Ranger 
And then the un- other reason is because Ranger versus Fighter with a bow. True. Like I'm I'm sorry. It's so dumb. But fighters with a bow. I made a fighter with a bow because of how much better they are than Rangers at using a bow. Like it's stupid. Are they really that better once all the class features come into like perfect play, is what I'm saying. Yes. I mean I mean well as far as you go for like straight damage like uh-huh. i use my bow because i'm a bow character yeah um yeah i mean like you can there's a, a fighting style where you think you get plus two on your like all, all your archery shots mm-hmm. like out the gate so you can get that on top of your proficiency and whatever you got going on um and then you can become an arcane archer which makes, you know, you can shoot magical arrows, you know, like rangers mm-hmm. have magic, like, you know, so like, and and then you can action surge and shoot something like six Again. times. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. So, I mean, it's just, in my opinion, they did ranger dirty. It's not my fault. I wish that they were better, honestly, because I think rangers are cool, but <laughs> CJ, I just it's not my they fault. honestly did them dirty. <laughs> not my <I> fault. <laughs> there's, definitely, there's definitely some circumstances where rangers can be really fucking strong. Like, I yeah. honestly think I made one of the strongest rangers you can make with Jazari, because it's like we're, we're in the Underdark, mm-hmm. um, and we're not leaving anytime soon. So I made a ranger whose favorite terrain was the Underdark. Can't get lost down there. I know my way around, you know. I picked the Gloom Stalker as my subclass, so like it fits perfectly. Um, I think that could be really strong together. And then I threw in like I multi-class with Ranger, right? So I get sneak attack, but mm-hmm. I'm stealing from another class to make my own Ranger better. The only right. thing that makes it super good is that we can't get lost in the Underdark, which is super easy to do. Right. Because that's my favorite terrain and I'm a Ranger, it's not possible. Right. And some of those features that kind of like makes the difference, but yeah. that difference isn't enough to be like fighter. You know, right. it's not enough like to take overtake fighter. It's right. just that too, strong, it's just too uh, situational. Right. Exactly. So like if you were to take, I don't know, which I'm not even really saying that storm is that strong, which was my character in that group. Mm-hmm. Um, but if we were to leave the Ender dark and go to, the surface for whatever reason say we get teleported there or some shit mm-hmm. i would be at the same strength whereas tower's okay. character would get a debuff because we just left his favorite well game. that's the problem is it's not even a well i guess it's not a problem it's not a debuff it's just a useless it's not a debuff, there's just a wasted feature buff. yeah right, exactly he's wasting a class feature right which is why ranger is at least c i would put him in D. exactly that's that's why that's what i think too Wait, did you I just say honestly, he's C? Put him in D? I'm in D, but they're at least C. C. I think they're C because Rangers can still be cool. That's why we're going C, because I put B, you said C, and then CJ said C. So, he's going C. Alright, I see you put Monk in F already. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to argue with you, to be honest. So. I just okay, threw it in I'm, there to I'm be gonna, funny. I'm going to argue. Cause okay. I was, just, I was just reading Austin's... Six level I, ability. I mean, Austin is yeah. strong. I will, I will give you that. Way of the Shadow. <laughs> and at six level, with Way of the Shadow, he can now teleport to any shadow within 60 feet. Oh That's my god. We're in complete darkness under there. If he's in darkness and the area he wants to go is in darkness, he can, as a bonus action, teleport. That's amazing. It's amazing. Wait, did you say it was a bonus action? Yeah. Oh my god, and he's invincible. after he does that, his first attack advantage. has advantage. What? Yeah, it's amazing. Oh my amazing. god! Uh, yeah, monks uh, can be master, strong. Super cool. Uh, like, what's that one that I think Luke uh, Iron Meldar was? It's like Way of the Open Hand or something. I so think so. Yeah. To, when you get to like 18th level, you can touch somebody and make oh. them like tremble. Yeah, it <laughs> and was. And um, just like their heart explodes. Yeah, the heart shreds itself or something like that. Yeah, it was something crazy. I think it was open hand. Yeah. I think they're really boring to play personally because it's just I punch things, but they're pretty fucking cool. Like you can catch arrows, you can throw them back, you can get uh, disadvantage on you because you you did patient defense. You can stun people, you can punch extra times. 
if you pick a certain subclass, you could fucking nothing personal kid teleport behind <laughs> somebody. I think will also say that Monk, in my opinion, benefits from being like the best class for a magic user to subclass in. Because, really? Yeah, because, I mean, uh, for example, which, I mean, I don't know exactly how well it would work if you were a sorcerer and you wanted to multiclass into Monk or whatever, sure. right? But, like, on my druid, I multiclassed into Monk because uh, Monks are unarmored. True. And they get better unarmored defense because they're Monks. True. Um, and then there's certain things that you can do as a Monk to give you escapability, like uh, Step of the Wind. Um, if somebody does get up on you and you punch them, you could possibly stun them because that goes off of your DC. Mm -hmm. like you don't have a separate monk DC. You have that goes off your DC. So like, whenever I punch something on Zabar and try to stun it, it's got to pass a DC twenty. I, I was just um, thinking. I was like, would you rather? Because I would say fighter, right? That's where my head immediately goes for multiclassing with your with a caster because you get action surge and sonic or a second wind, and then you get a much a lot more. Uh, sure. Well, armor proficiencies, but Monk is a good choice for that very reason. I, I disagree with both of you. Whoa. Monk is the best multiclass. No, we're, we're saying talking about for, marshals. For a caster, even, a mark, even with uh, a caster, it's still the best multiclass. If you're a sorcerer and you take warlock, or you're a paladin and you take warlock, cleric you take warlock, those spell slots are their own things. Like they don't, they aren't affected by your other spell slots. So you just have those two extra. You get Eldritch Blast. Uh, you get all this other shit for being a warlock. I think 100% they're the best multi-class for anybody. But what's the well, I guess I should rephrase then. Monk is the best multi-class for a sorcerer if, like, they don't want to be completely fucked if they get caught. Yeah, that was more so what we were talking about, Tyler. Well, fine. Because, if I mean, if you're a sorcerer and then you multi-class into warlock and then you get caught... What's, I mean, yeah, I'm, sure what's you can do, I'm sure you can do a couple things, but... You can have the Warlock spell Misty Step and bonus action teleport away. But right, can... you can have a couple things, but Monk has a lot going for it as far as like, oh, fuck, I just got caught in melee. Is that just yeah, a you know, Warlock spell, Misty Step? No, no, but it's... You could use one of your Warlock spells slots to cast it, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. That would suck, though, because how many Warlock slots do you usually... You you get two, but they're they don't affect like your other slots. Like it's kind of it's weird to. Oh, you're saying they're separate slots. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Okay, that's fair too. I don't know. I haven't played in much of Warlock, so I can't really yeah, say. Yeah, that is fair. I haven't I really mean... looked into. Well, I, I look into. I try to look into them, and then I don't know. I just lose the interest. I don't know why. Hard class to play. Gotta it it does have a lot of moving pieces as it grows. Uh, so what would we what would we vote Monk as? I put it in C too. It, I think you put it at C, yeah, because I think it can be strong and it can be cool, but like I don't think it's over the top, and I think it also can be weak. As well. <laughs> That's true. We, thinking back on Fujin, CJ, you went Astral Monk. Yeah, Fujin was also like a broken character. I, I like I, looking back on it. I'll admit it. Like that was when I first was playing D and D. I didn't mm -hmm. exactly know what was going on. And Tyler gave me, like, one or two more attacks than I should have had, and we just never fixed that. Yeah. And, like, you know... So your I, magic I mean, item was amazing. And the magic item was stupid as fuck, too. Instead of, like, 1d8, you did 2d8 per 2D8. punch? That's yeah. That shit was insane, yeah. Yeah. Would uh, you have swapped subclasses, knowing what you know now? I or would you still go Astral? So fucking much. Uh, I would probably still go Astral. I mean... It wasn't bad, it, I don't think. Because it was so cool. cool that, it, it was. That, that was that was the thing. For my first character, I just wanted to make something that was cool. Cause I didn't know it was what, fucking what do. dope. You made, the right, you made the right decision. Going cool. Because that's always way more entertaining than making a meta build first thing. Uh, plus, it, you got to do cool things like making your fist weapons deal like... What was it? At one point, you can make them necrotic or... After, uh, radiant damage. Radiant, yeah. And it's like, that's really convenient when we're fighting like things with a weird subtyping. So I agree. I think Monk is a good C tier. Um, it has its benefits, but it also has its downsides as well. A lot Plus of people... if you're in a uh, BBEG fight, that class is most likely to... Uh... You got a kite. Yeah. You got a kite hard. 
uh, a lot of people don't know, but you can bring weapons on Monk. You don't have to fight unarmed. Yeah, you don't have to, yeah, but I mean, so Monk. much of the class is based around using your fists. Yeah. So, like, bring... At least have an like, open hand. I had a staff. Hand, like, I had a staff on fusion. Yep. You can it's use quarter staff. so much better for me to punch. Uh, part, daggers. Part of that is because those magical uh, gauntlets. Oh, yeah. That's a huge benefit. Like, yeah. it was a, it'd be a nerf to you to bring a weapon exactly but yeah. that was just for me but i think a lot of people think bunk is just a punching class but you you do have options there are mm -hmm. proficiencies with i think finesse weapons i think they can use right like right now on strikes uh, yeah you can like on zabar uh if i do get in melee because there was a session not too long ago where we did do heavy melee combat and i was in the fray um if you use your like a like all your attack actions to do like monk attacks mm -hmm. so like me using my staff like i, I bonk twice with it yeah uh i can then use my bonus action to punch so like oh yeah you can get a punch in like regardless if you was wanting to get like a stunning strike or whatever in like that uh, flurry of blows even like as long as you use a monk weapon like a staff or some of the weapons he was talking about um then it would be more beneficial to use a weapon as your primary uh this is situation. this is what i was thinking of it says in the book it does not have to be your fist it could be any part of your body you could headbutt yeah, you kick. Could kick so if you wanted to dual wield short swords you could still kick people with your unarmed strike mm -hmm. technically which is really cool yeah could you imagine i got these swords but i'm gonna kick you to death um I think C is a good placement for it. They've got their ups and downs, but overall they're yeah. they're a middle tier class for sure. I think we should just go in line now. The so barbarian. Um, I I I don't want to say anything more than a C. A for sure. A for sure. Uh, they they're strong. They're very very strong. The strongest Every character ever we've seen. ever played with. He's Every time I've ever seen a barbarian, they are tanks. Oh yeah. Uh, no matter what happens in the fight, the the barbarian is like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna run up to the biggest thing." Like it doesn't matter. Like and mm -hmm. and like, I think they can be cool too. Um, I think Tyler is right. Katal is the strongest character I think we've ever seen. Yeah, probably. And and he was cool, even though he didn't really like do much other than fucking destroy everything. He was cool. <laughs> Pretty but he cool. was the best at it yeah. and even like now on my my druid barbarian i'm only like level three barbarian but i'm still like getting in the the shit i'm mm -hmm. not going down i'm taking half damage to everything and then if you if you i know we weren't talking about subclasses but if you pick that fucking subclass for a oh barbarian, yeah that lets you have you resistance to pretty much yeah. everything besides psychic bro you're the yeah, strongest class insane. in the game yeah it's it's, it's pretty stupid uh, but what's the bad thing about barbarians? Tell me where. Tell me where it goes bad. Like it's They're great. Idiots. They are stupid. Typically, yeah, I, I mean, they don't have probably that their uh, their saving throws aren't the best. Yeah, um, I think they do. I think they have I mean, like their wisdom, charisma, and intelligence saving throws aren't good. But like they can re-roll strength saving throws if they're mm -hmm. if they're raging. They're gonna have a good dex and a good con. Did they don't get a fighting style? Do they? I don't think so. But uh, as far as I, I guess I could do. say, a downside for barbarian is especially if you go full barb. Um, play style is a bit limited. Yes, like, you do always. Run you'll always be me. raging. You'll always be smacking. You'll always yeah. be like, "Hit me! I take half damage. Fuck you!" Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. Which so, is maybe why it's not S. Yeah, little, I think that's why it wouldn't be S. Yeah, but as far as strong i think you could argue it's the strongest class in the game I if the yeah but that's the thing is i feel like there's a lot of variable with it as well that's why i was gonna say about b i think i a. would, I I would think put it in a very no strong. doubt about it no doubt okay if if you guys were both saying a i'd put it in s because legit like i think back to what katal did in my campaign and just like he was such a beefcake yeah it's just so good it's just so good. But that's, to me, that's all that. So this is what, this is, I'm going to list my downsides real quick, which is basically what you guys said. 
you multi-class into a cat you cannot multi-class caster with this well you could but it doesn't you That'd don't be get really to benefit weird. with your barbarian a lot of the same way uh it's just kind of different you don't really go for ranged weaponry uh the ranged weaponry doesn't really do great if there were comp compound bows in this game like in pathfinder barbarians would i'd probably put no doubt barbarians a the, i just feel like their range is always lacking um because they, a lot of players just pick the great weapons they don't have a fighting style um and i feel like a lot of their thing is they have to be able to get to their target um so that's the only thing that I see being like their limitations. I feel like I they, they have limitations, but where they work, they're amazing. You if know? you think about it as in like each class does one thing really well, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Each class has their niche. The barbarians niche is they are the strongest at their thing. You know what I mean? They're better at standing and banging than a warlock Absolutely. is at casting. They're Absolutely. better at standing and banging than a ranger is at ranged combat. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're the their thing, they're the best at. That is true. I agree. They are they do not falter. You put it you can really put them up against whatever, and they're gonna be able to stand. I just they don't have any subclasses that really give them a range advantage, do they? That's what I was trying to think of. And I think the only one no, is the uh, wild no. surge. I think there is a magic item, and, and I don't know if it's homebrew, like because I know in in Critical Role Campaign One, uh, their barbarian had like an item where he could throw his axe, and then it would come back to him. Mm -hmm. So he has he had range in that way. Yeah, Katal had a version of that if he rolled it. Yes. So. Yeah. And I think that's like a magic item. I don't know if. Gotcha. You know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, a for sure. A for sure. Well, then moving on to Bard, what do we think? Uh, 5e um, Bards are fucking lame. Yeah. Compared yeah, to what they I've are seen Jacebo do in Pathfinder, I'd put them in, like, D. Yeah, I would put Bard in, like, C, because I think that they can still be, like, I think it can useful. still be useful to have a Bard in your party, yeah. Uh, but comparative, yeah, they really did Bards dirty when you yeah. look at how cool, how, like, well they do their job in pathfinder yeah they're completely different like sides of a, of a coin mm -hmm. uh they are bards from in 5e from what we because we've only had one bard i can think of it's almost like the Philip? bard class is Philip. like if you don't really want to fight much and you just want to rp then pick a bard in 5e you know what i mean yeah they what well, they give you a bonus when you when you long rest or short rest right they like give an additional mm -hmm. hit die to heal Mm -hmm. I think there's, I mean, their spells are supposed to be more support based, but it's like, but cleric exists and does it better. Yeah, right. and bardic inspiration is really cool, but like at low right. levels, it's really boring. It's like you just get a, uh, you get to add an extra d4, an extra d6. Yeah, there's nothing that's like, oh, this is thank you, because yeah, it's yeah. essentially. I mean, I, at like, at like thirteenth level, you get to add like a d10, and that's like that's fucking awesome. Right. But it takes a well, while. We've been playing our, this campaign for two years. We just hit thirteenth level. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I could see Bard being a D tier. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah, I'm not mad at that. I right, yeah, I'm down for it. Uh, cleric. I think cleric could definitely go up to A. I, I think, think cleric, cleric might be... be the one and only S. No, really? there's another S. Who? Paladin. Okay, yeah. <laughs> then the, the, the holy boys are S's, dude. The holy boys are amazing in this game. They're I'd almost, okay. I'd, I could probably see warlock in S as well. I was going to put Cleric at probably either B or A just for the fact that I haven't had much experience with a Cleric. Yeah. But I yeah. was going to put him at in, I, I was going to put him in A because I do know that they are definitely the best healers in the game if you go Oh, for player. sure. Oh, it's dude, not my close. Cleric's insane. It's Let's not put... close. And it's actually like the only viable healer in the game if you were like I don't know, if you're a fucking World of Warcraft player, you're yeah. a fucking healer, they, and you decide they, to play D&D, &D and you're like, I want to be a healer. You gotta go life domain cleric, bro. Like, it's awesome gonna thing, make it easier. The awesome thing about clerics is like how we were saying, like, each thing has their niche. Mm -hmm. Cleric can be legit any niche. Literally anything. Literally anything. Yeah. Which is one of the few reasons why Paladin could be an A. Because of ranged. Oh, you know what? Real quick on this, I meant to bring it up when we were talking about Ranger. I read somewhere that Wizard said the idea for Ranger was to be the ranged version of Paladin. 
that would have been 10 times cooler well that was the the intention because of like hunter's mark and stuff like that they were like see they they benefit from only doing ranged combat but it didn't it obviously did not hit pen and paper work that it did not it it did not i mean i also like uh dual wielding rangers you know what i mean i like oh, that rangers don't cool. happen to be yeah i think hunter's mark as long as you hit the target you deal damage like you don't right. have to be ranged right. but uh yeah so cleric cleric we put an ad in this i think so sure, i think yeah. it's just think it's so, so well rounded so yeah you can yeah. literally do anything forge cleric the life domain all like literally anything yeah grave domain twilight domain what was what was Kahim? he was casting fucking fireball like we zeal literally had a yeah, we had a wizard cleric. I played a life cleric who was the healer. Luke's playing a forge cleric where he's just like the big armor tank boy. Wait, where? In the new group. No, he was a peace domain. Oh, you're right. But he didn't he pay the, play the forge cleric and maybe like a one shot or something. I think it's always been peace because he. I think he did peace uh, in my play test of the range paladin, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Dude, cl- peace cleric gets a lot." And I think that's when he found his interest in it. Gotcha. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was peace. It could. Oh, maybe it was Austin or something. That sounds right. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, Clary, you can put anything in their hands and they're going to make it work. It's amazing. Uh, They get heavy armor proficiency, really good spell casting, and then you can make them work in whatever version you want them to. And then when you get to like tenth level, you get like divine interference, which has like a ten percent chance of working. Yeah, and I've never seen it work in any of our games. No, but if it did, it could. You can literally change the outcome of anything. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, okay, yeah, S class for me. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, uh, CJ, what would you what would you have put it at? I think I would have put it at an S. S. I mean, it. Yeah, because like checks I, said, I don't have a ton of experience. Like, I haven't seen many clerics in my campaigns that I've mm-hmm. played in. Um, but they do definitely have the best healer in the game, which yep. is a big thing. Um, and, you know, it seems like they can be pretty strong. Um, oh, yeah. So I would put them in S. I think they're even better in Pathfinder, too. They are definitely more of a healer role. Well, healer Pathfinder, support. like, because we were talking about, like, you know, Bard isn't as good as it is in, in Pathfinder yeah. First Edition. In first edition, I don't know how it is in second, clerics get to choose two fucking domains. Yes, and then benefit from both of them. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's very yeah. good. Really, Pathfinder did a really good job with all the base classes, minus like, like I think Monk is still bad in Pathfinder, Barbarian's a little rough in Pathfinder, but besides that, the rest of them are all good. Yeah. Like, Dude, very early good. early level Monk is fucking shit. And uh, Path, I think is it really? I think that's why you have to use Unchained, but it... Unchained might still even be like a little poopy. Yeah. Um. Okay. Next is Druid. My initial thoughts is B. I want to put. Druid. I want to say A. You want to say A? Druid is A. Yeah. Because uh, if you go full Druid, yeah, you're probably gonna have the best AC of any full caster build. Why? Because they have an armored uh, defense. Druids? They have like their own, yeah. They have like their. Uh, I'll pull it up real quick, but like, uh, pretty sure druids. Uh, or am I mistaken on that? I know they wear metal. Like, they're not allowed to wear metal armor, so they might have some benefit to not wearing. Armor. Oh no, I'm mistaken. They don't. They okay. don't have an armor defense, but they do get a. Uh, uh, a benefit from not wearing metal like Tyler said I just don't have it pulled up here yeah um I think that they're a because the spells that they can take are strong um wild shape can be really strong and then when you get to level 20 the fact that you get unlimited wild shapes if you want to talk about mechanically broken <laughs> it's probably the most mechanically broken it thing is. in the game it is see I've never been impressed with the spells like, right. I think they're okay, but there's some of them that I'm just like, I don't... The cool thing about druid spells is, like, you can take any of them anytime that you is, wake up. That you is know true. them all, so anytime, any, anytime you wake up, you're like, you know what? That spell I used yesterday fucking sucked. You yeah. just don't have to use it anymore. Yeah, it's the same way for Cleric and Paladin, I believe, as well. I think they're... Yeah, dru- I would put Druid in A, too. They're just so good. Wild I can shape see A. Is, 
Wild Shape is so good. Uh, it gets better as you level up, but like if you take Moon Druid, like I'm playing, oh, like I can came. already tur- I can already turn into C1 monsters. Yep. Uh, when you get knocked out of your your monster, uh, you have the HP that you had before. Yep. Like it doesn't minus. It, it's insanely good. You also get that yeah. heal while you're Wild Shaped. Yep. By like just expending a spell slot, which is so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I can see A. I can see A. Uh okay, now we get to the truly most versatile class, fighter. I think uh fighter could be A tier. Yeah. Um Petering S, I don't know if I would put it in S. I I think I think if you were to argue that it's an S tier it would be because of its versatility. Yeah. Um and how strong it can, and like consistently strong it is through that versatility, right? So if you made a fighter with a bow, he's strong from a distance. You make a fighter with a bastard sword, you make a fighter that dual wields mm-hmm. shield and sword. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it's consistently you're gonna get a dude who's strong. Yeah. I th- what's their one downside would be just like magic. Yeah, I would say so. Say and they, it would be a little difficult. boring. I think they do. They are kind of mundane. They just. Yeah, I agree with that as well. I once, think there's like two or three subclasses, like beast, or is it beastmaster or whatever it is. Battlemaster. Like, Battlemaster. Battlemaster is extremely good. Super cool, yeah. but like then there's like Seth's champion, which is like I hope I land a crit. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'd put I'd put them in B because they're really good, but I don't know. They just seem a little plain. They're kind of mid. Yeah, they're a little. I, they're a little bit better than mid. They're like. I think they should like be in. High yeah, level um, mid. They're like high level mid. Yeah, I think they should be an A just for their versatility. I think they're the most versatile class in the game. A minus, B plus. See, I'm going to slap it in B. That way we have one thing in B. But <laughs> also, you're, it is kind of teetering in an A because it's like they are extremely good at what they do. But at the same time, it's kind of like once they're locked in, like this is what they do. That's it. Which isn't bad, but it's just kind of like, this is it. This is what they do. Um, they're great at it, like a barbarian is, but it's like they're not really gonna get any crazier unless you're like an Echo Knight or uh Rain or the 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 Arcane Archer or things like that. Yeah. Um yeah, you go Battlemaster, you're really good at your maneuvers, champion, hopefully you're gonna crit, things like that. And uh, when you do, my god. It's amazing. You're having a great oh, yeah. time. Oh yeah. Okay. Do we really even need to talk about Paladin? The one downside of it, you got to smite, I guess. I don't, I've never played it, but none of us have played Paladin. You have to. I, you don't dude, have Hulf, to. Hulfmere casts a lot. Dude. Hulfmere yeah. does, and I feel like I haven't got to experience Hulfmere, like, listening in. Josh has tainted my views. Yeah, for sure. Josh but... is smite over everything. Yeah. yeah. He took, he only took smites, I'm pretty sure. Like, that's all he did. But, um, Paladin is one of the best multi-classes as well. Oh, yeah. Very strong multi. Um, and what they do, I think you could argue what they do is just as good as what a barbarian does, right? Like they Paladin are. Smite down evil. Like, yeah. Who's going to no, do that yeah, better than Paladin? Sure. You know what I mean? So, They're, I would say Paladin as as tier. They Smite share a lot strong. They share a lot of the same problem with Barb, which is range. Uh if you unless you're casting right like there. divine bolt or whatever it is, I can't remember the thing. You don't have a lot of cast ability to hit ranged. Uh you you cannot smite with a bow. Um so y- you can use a bow, but you're not gonna be the full paladin. Right. So, but so still, yeah. they do way too much fucking damage. That you crit with a paladin, yeah. yeah, it's done. You're done, kid. You have to declare a smite before your attack. There'd be a, but because yes. you can mm-hmm. declare a smite after you learn that you just crit, yeah, they're ass for sure. They're ass yeah, God Squad, S tier. Yep. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh. Paladin's S. There's no competition. It's just, it's that good. Damage output is ridiculous, and they have heavy armor. They're like clerics. Beefy, damage. Yeah. Magic, you know, they got it. 
Yep. If they want to be like that, and then if something evil shows up, they're fucking dead. So the thing that's crazy is they prep their spells, but just choose to use smite with those slots. They don't. Is, What's is it smite tough? a spell? A smite no, a spell? it's like... a class feature. Yeah, oh, so you use, can you can be barbarian raging slots. and smite. I don't think so because it requires a spell slot. There's a lot of back and forth on this. I'm not totally yeah. sure. Yeah, uh, actually, there is a barbarian paladin using. I want to make. Right. I was just thinking about that. I don't know if it's do. There's a lot of back and forth because it requires a spell slot in order to ca to use smite. So therefore, is it a spell or is it not a spell? And then people are like, "Well, it does radiant damage and it does this." And but it's, then, I mean, it's a class feature. Right. So. I don't know. It, I think DM, it all comes down DM to discretion. Exactly. That's what it's ultimately going to come down to. Uh, yeah, you make a barbarian paladin and it truly works the way you want it to. That's a tank. That's that's God. I want to make that class one day. I know it, exactly what I want to do. It's so stupid. Uh, <laughs> Rogue. C. C? Uh, yeah, I think at least C. Um, I haven't I haven't seen Jazari mm -hmm. really in action. Um, and I think the only rogue that I've seen is Jazargo. And I will also say that probably the main reason he was so bad is because we roll stats in that campaign and I rolled to just get bad. So fucking bad, dude. Unbelievably bad on Jazargo for his stats, dude. Yeah. That I literally had three zeros. Yikes. That's pretty bad. And it a rogue, was awful. rogue is a class a rogue, that benefits yeah. heavily on yeah. multiple good things. Like minus, yeah, so it's one thing. Maybe. I think on Jazargo, I was really just fucked from the start. Yeah. Uh, but even when I was able to do what I could do on Jazargo, well, because like the one I did have one good roll. I think it was like a fucking eighteen or something. So I put it in decks. Yeah. So my melee combat was gonna be wasn't going to be much stronger either way right mm -hmm. um whenever i got you know my combat good off on jazargo it was just good it wasn't like killer and then when i wasn't in my rogue situation i was really kind of out to fucking draw you know as tyler i was like jazargo would run away like he could or else he would fucking die yeah rogues need too much uh shit to happen for them for them yeah. to be like really yeah. good like you have yeah, to get your sneak attack off you got to be able to not get hit you know what i mean you can't get stuck out in combat and then ability wise yeah. they need like intelligence to be good at like insight investigation wisdom yeah. for perception dex for stealthing that. around hp just to help them out charisma They're if they want to go yeah. swashbuckler and yeah. so it's like they're very ability statted like you, you got to be very well rounded. So if you roll well with stats, they can do really well. I if think it's... they're a really fun multi class. I do too. Yeah, I think they but work really well as a straight up class. Yeah, I think they're. Eh. I agree. You, you know, one of the best concepts I heard for a role play of a rogue was, uh, he is a security guard, but or not a security guard, but you hire him to test your security system. If he can break in and steal your shit, then you had a bad security system. And he's a, he's a good guy. He's like a hacker that you, you hire to test your firewalls. And I was like, that's a really good concept. That is cool. Yeah. Cause it's like, you, of... you play like a lawful character, but you're a rogue. Made me think of Dylan's rogue multi-class idea that he tells me sometimes where he wants to be a fighter rogue mm. and he wants to be the assassin subclass of the fighter. And he wants to assassinate people with a great sword. <laughs> I would I I would like to try that as well. I think that's, that's a great so, idea. That's just so funny. I think it's so funny. So whop somebody's head off real easy. Uh okay. Uh sorcerer. Let's they're see. the best they're the best caster in the game. You think so? You think so? A hundred percent. They can meta do magic. Some pretty I yeah. took a, I, on on Zenral, I took the meta magic feat because meta magic is so damn good. I would say A then. A at least. Um, I would say A for sure. They yeah. just they have I think they have access to all their spells. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they have to prepare them. I legit think they can just take any um and cast it. They um, may have to choose them the morning of, but that's still amazing. But Do you I think feel like the drawbacks are a bit rough a little bit. If I'm not mistaken, it's hard for a sorcerer other than mage armor to really get a high AC. For sure. 
and that's then a D six hit points is fucking rough. Yeah, yeah that sucks. Yeah, yeah that's, that's rough. But they're just so good at casting. They like we said, like Barbarian is, is the best at what they do. Sorcerer is the best caster. Yeah, Meta Magic alone just puts them over the top. Being able to cast a spell as a bonus action, being able to uh, target two people with one spell, uh, being able to extend the range, it's so good. Like yeah. I said, like mm. my Warlock, I took the Meta Magic feat because Meta Magic is that strong. Right. Uh, that was an easy one. I didn't know how that was going to go. So, yeah. Warlock. C. C? I yeah. think Warlock could be... Uh, I think a B. A B tier, yeah. I think Warlocks are cool. They sure... They can be strong. And then there are certain things that Warlocks can do that yeah, I guess other classes could do, but they're one of those classes that have the ability to cast Dream on, on Zabar and yeah. allow him to actually know that Jizargo's alive. And stuff like that. So, I think they're cool. Um, I think that because of like them having a demonic pact, it's really like when you have a warlock in your group, you're just kind of like, "What about this guy?" You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so, I think they could be B. I think they can definitely be strong. Um, if Zinral would connect on his fucking elder blasts, he would be strong. Yeah, I um, miss them literally every time. But uh, but yeah, I agree. I think that, that they do have their drawbacks pretty. So, I was gonna slap him in B because I think he's. I think warlocks are the fighter variant of casters, where warlock has an ability to do anything in the game. They can hex play. They want to be melee. They've got good casting uh, options. Uh. And you kind of build them as you play them, uh, like making decisions and adding more packs and whatnot and bonds and whatnot to them. Uh, so I think they're a very good class. I think they're not mid, but just slightly better than mid. Mm -hmm. uh, they just take a lot of experience. Like you, yeah. you really have to build your warlock correctly for him to be good. Like you right. have to take the correct feats. You got to make sure you're taking the right invocations. You're stuck with the spells you take until you level up. Like you, those are just your spells. Yeah that you have. So you have to make sure you take the correct spells. Um, you only get two spell slots uh, literally until like your level 11. Uh, so they're a hard class to play. It takes a lot of finagling yeah. to make them mm -hmm. worth a shit. I think the first feat I took on my warlock was uh, medium armor. So I had better AC. <laughs> <laughs> so this one... I'm going to jump out the gate and say A for wizard. I think... I you what? I said I, I agree. I think where they... The difference between sorcerer and wizard is wizard... A, once they know their spells, they know them permanently. Uh, they can cast anything in their spell book. As long as they have the spell slot for it. Um, their subclasses, I think, are a little bit more in tuned with I'm extremely good at what I do uh, such as evocation um, and I think they can cast more impressive spells than sorcerer I'm not certain but I think they have a more expanded spell list than sorcerer I think so yeah uh, but you know they have the same problem as sorcerer okay. which is you know low hit dice easy to hit kind of thing um, That's definitely their biggest downfall. Yeah. Is your level one wizard will legit die yeah. to two goblin attacks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, level like one through three to five, you have to protect your wizard, but they pay off like end game, like heavy. Yeah, but that's just as true for sorcerer. So I think absolutely both at a is pretty a small. for sure. Yeah. So this is it. This is the list. I can't yeah, I wait. Hate that we don't have anything in F. So let's just throw a ranger in there. Oh man, I wish we could. Uh, no, don't do that. <laughs> Fuck, where was he? Why did this all get? He was an A, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I could see Ranger being in a D, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stay strong with the mid tier. I think Just C works. When they work, they work. When they don't work, they're like yeah, like, yeah. Like why? I said, like 
when I'm in the Underdark and it's my favorite terrain and my favorite enemy is demons and all we're fighting is demons, I'm pretty fucking strong. Right. But if for whatever reason, Dylan was like, you guys are getting on a boat and you're going out to sea. I'm like, fucked. Like, fuck. Yeah, I'm not good I, here. Yeah, I got to make a new character, Dylan. <laughs> I was designed for the darkness. Okay, but this is it. I mean, I, I think I... Looking at it, I agree with everything we threw up here. I think everything is very balanced. I can't wait to post this on Instagram and uh, get attacked. Uh, yeah, very exciting.